Ladies, you are going to pick a number. The number corresponds to the question. Let's do this with finalist number one. Are you ready? Yes. Sir. Okay. Who can up there? You pick question number two. Your question is What Filipino trait you are not most proud of? Again, what Filipino trait you are not most proud of? Thank you for the wonderful question. Good afternoon, everyone. The, the trait that I am not most proud of is Maniana Habit. A Filipino trait that characterizes us Filipinos that we Filipinos are lazy. Yet, it's completely opposite as we are as a race. Filipinos known to be the most industrious and resilient people. With the world's hospital being without nurses, with the world with, with the maritime without being seafarers, and with the world's household without being being a domestic helper. helper. And I do believe in a saying, if do it now, because your later becomes never. Thank you so much. Thank you. Henry number six. Next, Henry number ten. Already? I'm saying one ready. Okay. Pick a number. You pick question number three. If love is beautiful, why does it require sacrifice again? Please be silent, everyone. The question is, if love is beautiful, why does it require sacrifice? Love always requires sacrifice. If you love someone or something, you are willing to give up things. Me joining this pageant, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a first timer joining Pre Innovation 2023. I believe that this pageant has the vision and mission of um, providing quality education for everyone. And I am here standing today proving to you all that we are uh, we are able to be respected by everyone. And just like me being here, it is my love for the pageantry. And now I am showing it to all of you. My talent, my purpose, and my passion. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate number 10. Next, let's call it candidate number 12. Candidate number 12, picky number. You pick question number 5. Your question is, how Will you encourage others to step out from their comfort zone? Again, how will you encourage others to step out from their comfort zone? Growing up gay was really hard and challenging for me because I had the thought and fear of not being accepted by my family, especially parents. 
because I was a family one. I was a big friend. But as I grow older and as I transition, I realize that you just have to be yourself. And there is something that my family advised me. So always be yourself, be proud of who you are, and become the truest version of yourself. And tonight, today, I am here echoing my voice, telling everyone my story, a story that is great, straight, inspiring. To everyone, to someone who might be hiding, pretending, for now, always remember that there's always a time for you to come out of your shell, and your true powers will always shine through. And always remember that to always be proud of being who you are and be the truest soul. And be the truest soul. Because being pride is being proud. And when you become the truest soul, you can achieve genuine happiness. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 12. Let's call it candidate number 8. Give me question number 1. Your question. Which would you prefer to be? Someone respected or someone loved? Again, which would you prefer to be? Someone respected or someone loved? Thank you for the question. As an LGBT member, I want to be loved. Because I believe from love, it is followed by respect. As an LGBT, I have dreamed to be loved by a man who will accept me for being who I am. Except from the love from my family, I am also finding a love from a man who will accept me for being who I am and what I am. In that way, I can say that we should always love each other and come to color respect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next, let's call it candidate number three. Love it. Okay. Minister number. Okay. You got number four. The question is What is the best advice you have received and why? Again, what is the best advice you have received and why? The best advice that I have received in my life is to never compare yourself to others. I have realized that by comparing myself to others, it only brings stress and insecurities. It takes away my progress and growth that I should be focusing on my own self. And it's time that we practice appreciating our own journey and valuing the person we are becoming. But instead of feeling inadequate and insecure about others, we should practice empathy and compassion, understanding that each individual has their own battles to fight in life. And together, we should be determined to break free from the chains of comparison and embrace our own unique individuality as a person. Thank you. Thank you so much, David, for the day, Miss Alex Gisna.